the formidable robot. I've been looking for a lost episode story from around 2012. It wasn't on the creepypasta wiki, but rather on a wiki with no moderation and no limits for writing. The name of the story is, Dead Patrick. Okay, I know what you're thinking. With a title like that, this is probably some boring tropey cliched mess with a whole bunch of overdone ideas, either that, or the story itself is confusing to follow, or some sort of dead Bart clone. While yes, that's how it was when I first read it, other people had different accounts of how the story played out, which I'll get to in a bit. For me, it went like this. It started off standard and not very fresh, as expected, with the offer finding a DVD in the Nickelodeon Studios building and taking it home. You know, like a thief would do. He heads home, pops it into his disc player, and up comes the title card. A font that looks like it was taken off of a generator website, reading Dead Patrick, with a silhouette of the titular starfish behind the text. I'm going to be providing recreations of what images the story had. On your right, or in this case on screen, is what the title card looked like. To put it simply, this pasta wasn't good. It was basically about Patrick Jelly fishing with SpongeBob, but then he breaks his net on accident which causes an argument. The two scream and swear at each other all the way back to Kong Street, and they storm inside their homes. It cuts to SpongeBob, rocking back and forth, muttering about all reliable, his net, getting destroyed by that fat slimy shit stain. He then goes to his rock with a cooking knife, breaks in while he's sleeping, and well, you know the rest. Murder ensues, realistic imagery gets shoved in, the protagonist cries like a baby and destroys the disc, the works. Hey, reminds me of another SpongeBob creepypasta I narrated back in December 2021. At the time when I first read this, the only image on the article was the title card. I thought nothing of the story and went on with my life to read something else. The wiki this was posted on had little to no quality control, and even now, the site's long gone, probably due to it being not important enough. I think the name of the wiki was something around Taylor's lost episodes but my memory's a little fuzzy, so I might be wrong. As for the experiences other users had with the story, some recounted that the imagery and murder scene were written to be more specific than what I described. The following instances were commented on in a post I made for the search effort on fandom. Keep in mind that some of these comments didn't have the best grammar. First user was Mr. Stylish. When I read Dead Patrick, there was no scene involving SpongeBob stabbing Patrick in his sleep. Instead, he carried a tire iron with him and dragged it against the walls to wake Patrick up, I'm guessing, shortly before beating him to smithereens. Second user was Cats9000. According to her, SpongeBob still had a kitchen knife this time, but instead of him stabbing Patrick in his sleep, he wakes up and sees SpongeBob in the sandy hallway. There was a chase sequence that lasted like a paragraph long, but while that was happening, Spongebob was barking at Patrick to slow down, like the idiot he is. Patrick ends up tripping over a step stool and falling face first onto the ground before the murder scene shows up. It shoehorns some cliches like hyperrealism and blood, but when the aftermath of the death scene came up, it looked weird as fuck. The image that came along with the story was oversaturated and it made Patrick look more yellow than pink. There was an oversized gash in his stomach, he was bleeding from his mouth, but the thing that confused me the most about the image was his face. His eyes were replaced with black and blurry scribbles, with another poorly drawn eye scrawled over it. There was some text in the corner but it was really small and hard to read. I think it said something along the lines of, you're a fool but you're my fool. Third user was blocked till you drop. Hers was pretty simple, SpongeBob forced rat poison down Patrick's throat instead of stabbing him, leading to a slow death. Not much to say here. Fourth user was Nicorama. His was somewhat similar to Cat's 9000s in terms of weirdness, but it involved SpongeBob this time. SpongeBob didn't carry any weapons. He was completely barefisted, and if I remember correctly, Patrick actually fought back but ultimately lost. Before Spongebob killed him though, he had this crazy look on his face in the image. Like he had one oversized eye, one with a tiny pupil, and his mouth looked kind of stretched out, like plastic was wrapped over his face. 
I do remember some really small text being put on the image, something about being blinded and silenced. Finally, the fifth user. Kepper Dip. I came across it in the fan feed at the bottom of a fandom page. There was no story, and it was all replaced with a single picture. It was a zoomed image of an overly posterized hand, holding a handful of what looked to be pills in the woods, and on the bottom of the screen, it had some text that read, being invisible isn't so bad, in all lowercase. I don't know what the hell that's supposed to mean, but I wish I didn't skip over it at the time. Luckily, I live in a rural area, so I managed to recreate the picture somewhat. All I had was my allergy medicine to work with, but aside from that, Kepper said this was exactly what it looked like. Hopefully this article brings more recognition to the search, or at least makes Dead Patrick easier to find. One version of the story would be enough for me. Edited, cliché, whatever it is, the other accounts convinced me that this is worth putting in the historical archive. Update, May 19, 2022. It's been two years since I've made this post. Someone just direct messaged me on Discord through my fandom profile. One of the images was found, in the strangest way possible. A camera with dead batteries was discovered inside of a dilapidated cabin in Big Sky, Montana. Upon putting new batteries in it, several pictures were still stored. These ranged from people dressed in white, eating next to a pinned flag with an eye symbol on it, to a crowd of people dancing in front of a bonfire, again all of them wearing white. It wasn't just that. One of the images had a man being beaten with a tire iron, another had a woman getting a bottle of yellowish liquid poured on her face while tied down to a bed, and the third one. An image of a hand, holding pills in the forest, with piles of corpses and small prescription bottles littering the ground.